hello everyone welcome back to another episode and in this video tutorial i will talk about this matlab code and uh, the objective of this uh, provided matlab code is to demonstrate how demand response and renewable energy can be related and integrated to optimize energy consumption in a way that benefits both the grid and the end user so let's discuss the importance and uh, key advantages of connecting demand response and renewable energy so uh, the objective uh, the core aims to show how energy consumers household industries uh, can respond to varying energy supply conditions when renewable energy sources such as solar and wind fluctuate it addresses the challenges of aligning energy demand with intermittent uh, renewable energy generation so let's uh, get started with the matlab code uh, let's uh, start uh, with that part so basically uh, the code uh, is uh, having two sections uh, the first section is about the demand response and uh, the second section is about uh, the uh, renewable energy so uh, these two sections uh, are created uh, just for uh, the simplicity of the case uh, so we can easily understand uh, these uh, sections and easily understand how they are connected uh, so the first one if you have your uh, I will put the uh, link in the description from uh, the website you can get this code uh, so don't worry about that and uh, I already have made a basic video of MATLAB tutorials uh, how to uh, get started with the MATLAB and in that video I have explained how uh, to deal with the mat, mat files and uh, how to load data from the excel sheets uh, into matlab so uh, i just uh, make it a comment and uh, using matlab using mat files you can easily uh, transfer or load your data into the mat uh, into the matlab so uh, right over here uh, by using uh, the load we can load the data but i just uh, write in uh, right here the data which we have used later on so the first variable which is the energy consumption data which will be used in the section one uh, i just uh, select this variable and here you can see that uh, it select another uh, it uh, select uh, the an, uh, another position where that variable used uh, for second time and right over here you can see that we have two parts so that variable used two times in this matlab program so uh, this energy consumption data uh, which uh, i have uh, right here is used in the demand response and the renewable energy generation data is used uh, in the section two which is the renewable energy so these two variables uh, which store the sample energy consumption and uh, renewable energy generation data respectively you can replace these uh, sample values uh, with your actual data and uh, and similarly uh, re uh, remember to replace the sample data with your actual data set or load your data using the load function if you have stored your data in a dot mat file as the code initially attempted to do and i just made comment of that so if you want to uh, use the mat files so just follow the instruction okay after uh, so uh, certainly uh, this matlab code uh, with two sections as i have explained previously one for the demand response and the other for renewable energy uh, the code de uh, demonstrates how they relate to each other in the context of managing energy consumption uh, during periods of high renewable energy generation 
So uh, let's explore uh, the section one, which is about the demand response. So, so in demand response, we uh, load a historical energy uh, consumption data. Uh, this kind of data, uh, which we uh, store right over here. Uh, and uh, then we define a critical threshold for uh, high demand periods. Uh, you may uh, adjust as they needed or you may uh, during uh, this is uh, during the peak hours. Define the critical threshold for demand response. There is already the comment, but I'm just uh, making sure that uh, I can explain as much uh, as best I can. So uh, define a critical threshold for high demand periods and initiate and initiate uh, demand response actions if energy con consumptions exceeds the threshold. And uh, in the renewable energy, then there is just a, a printing uh, either demand response uh, initiated during high uh, demand periods or no need for demand response during this time and in the section two in renewable energy section we load renewable energy generation data uh, this data uh, which uh, uh, which is actually mentioned at right uh, data right over here so and calculate the total renewable renewable energy generation and uh, total energy uh, total energy demand and uh, uh, total renewable energy uh, which is actually uh, right over here and total energy demand which is right over here and the renewable energy penetration percentage uh, which is calculated uh, right over here uh, we check if renewable uh, if renewable energy can fully meet the energy demand and uh, suggest optimizing demand response strategies if necessary so uh, there is a uh, commenting at the end of this pr program so uh, this code demonstrate how a demand response can be used to manage uh, energy consumption during periods of high renewable energy generation uh, ensuring a more efficient and sustainable energy system and uh, one more uh, uh, the advantage is uh, the uh, main point which is uh, the key advantage of connecting uh, demand response and renewable energy uh, so the first advantage is the grid integration by adjusting energy consumption to match renewable energy generation the grid can accommodate more renewable renewables without compromising reliability so the second advantage is enhanced grid resilience so demand response can help manage grid resilience by reducing stress during extreme weather events or unexpected grid failures and uh, definitely the cost savings and uh, reduced uh, in, uh, environmental impact and optimal resource utilization so which is about matching demand with the renew renewable energy generation reduce the need for cost infrastructure upgrades and energy imports so finally uh, let's uh, run this code uh, let me make sure to run the program so i just uh, run the program twice so demand response initiated during the high demand periods total renewable energy generation is 38000 megawatt hours and total energy demand is uh, uh, it's around double so renewable energy penetration is 49.16 so renewable energy cannot fully meet the energy demand 
consider optimizing demand response to match renewable energy so that's how the comments and that's how you can uh, get an idea from this project and uh, design your own case so please like the video and uh, subscribe the channel and thanks for watching